How many times have y'all heard the old saying that you don't put new wine in old wineskins? How many times have you guys heard me say that you don't put new wine in an old container? And every time I say that, I'm always making reference to taking a solid food vacation. Because I understand what Herbert Shelton meant when he said the best preparation for a better way of life is a solid food vacation. Because you don't put new wine in an old container. What happens when you put new wine in old wine skins? It eats up the skins and ruins the wine in the container. Now whose fault is it? Is it the wine's fault? Or is it the person who put the wine in an old container? Oh, it's the fruit, the fruit. I'm allergic to it. It's the fruit's fault. It's not what we're supposed to do. No, you haven't done what you're supposed to do. You have to take a solid food vacation. Because you've got a, a bad container, an old container, it's damaged. It has to heal. Now the question is, which do we do? The water or the juices? Which is better? It actually depends. And are there situations where you can't do either one of them? Of course. But in most cases, most people can pull off a solid food vacation on juices. And it's something they can do and continue to work. They don't have to take a, a vacation from life as well as a, a vacation from all food, which is a, when you do a solid food vacation on water, it's a solid food vacation from all food. With juices, we're not taking a vacation from food. We're just taking a vacation from the solid food part of it. Why? Because we need to heal the body. The only problem when it comes to either type of fast is that we're giving the body what it wants, a rest, but the only organs that don't get a rest in the beginning are the organs of elimination. Now I remember a woman I worked with well over a decade ago. She had interstitial cystitis. And the horror stories she shared with me that day I met her just made me want to cry. She said that at one time they blamed her problem on a, 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 her urethra, saying it was just too narrow. So they put this device in her and spread her urethra. And she said that the pain that she went through with that made childbirth look like nothing. It was, it was just uh, horrendous. And that's what they did to name, in the name of health to heal this poor woman, is have her experience more pain than childbirth by thinking your, your, your urethra is just too small, let's stretch it out. And I remember when I worked with her, she struggled every day for three weeks, for 21 days, and wow, what a trooper. She knew she, she had to do this. She knew the, the solution was to give the body the rest and that it was going to be difficult in the beginning. And she told me every day, every time she urinated, it burned, it hurt. But she went through it because she knew she was dirty and she had to get rid of the dirt. What's the other option? A water fast. She didn't have that option. She just had a, a, a baby. It was only six months old. And she just stopped breastfeeding it. And that's when she contacted me and says, I want to, I got, I got to get healthy. And I'll never forget when she was around that three week mark when she finally said, I woke up today and the pain is gone. Wow, don't I feel great? I finally worked through it. And then it's also around that time she said, you know what, my skin, and she was in her 20s, she said, my skin is as soft as my baby's. Now that's what's one of the most exciting things that happens when we heal the gut inside and establish the right bacteria. And remember folks, we all have a very unique bio micro, uh, Microbiome, I did a video yesterday on that, or I uploaded, published it yesterday. And that explains why sometimes you eat the right foods and you're having problems. As long as you're eating the wrong foods, you're going to have the wrong bacteria in your intestines. You're always going to struggle putting new wine in an old container that's full of the wrong bugs. You got the wrong microbiome. Your body's damaged. You haven't let it heal. You don't put new wine in an old container. You don't eat fruit when your body's damaged if you can't handle it. Fortunately, most people can't. If you can't, you take a solid food vacation. And hopefully you can do it on juices, and some people can't. So then the, the solution might be a water fast. Sometimes that is the best thing for certain conditions because they're two different things, and one works better in certain conditions. And sometimes people can't do either one of them. But we always want to change as fast as our body will allow us. <laughs> and I should include our, our mind. <laughs> That gets in our way more than anything, isn't it? Or doesn't it? Yeah, it's uh, gotta be willing. Remember, there's two factors that determine our performance. Willingness and ableness. Ability is, uh, ableness is knowledge and skill. And that willingness factor, gosh, if you don't have it, if you're not afraid to take a solid food vacation to heal yourself, 
if you're not afraid, <laughs> then you do it. <laughs> but if you are afraid to do a solid food vacation, quit blaming the, the new wine. Blame the body you got. And who knows, some of us might be so badly damaged, we'll never be able to eat our species-specific diet. That seems unlikely to me, but I can see it happening. And if that's the case, you should be lucky you're alive. You probably wouldn't have survived 100 years ago in America. And I was just thinking, of, and I thought of that thought earlier today, I'm thinking, you know what? I bet the same thing happened back then that happened in the war when Russell Trowell was saying about how more men were dying uh, of uh, the drugs they were giving them for the measles they came down with because they were living in filth. And if you didn't give them any drugs, they didn't die. So I'm thinking that, you know, I bet a lot of deaths that occurred at the turn of the century when people weren't living very long, the children, and elderly and children, a lot of them died when they came down with a simple condition. But I'm sure it was the drugs that ended up killing them. Just like when people die of cancer nowadays. You don't lose weight because of the cancer, you lose weight because of the chemotherapy you're giving them. And you end up, half of you end up dying of cacacia. You starve away because you lost your appetite. So drugs aren't the answer. And the new wine isn't the answer either in the beginning. You gotta create a new container for that new wine. You have to understand how important it is to take a solid food vacation and go the distance. And if one doesn't work, you gotta try the other. And if they don't, both don't work, then you're gonna have to figure out how to modify this and go at a slower pace. Remember, we always change as fast as our bodies will allow you, or allow us. And the biggest thing we have to keep in mind is that if we just simply go to the new wine, what happens with many of us, we might not have any digestive problems with it, but we can break down tissue faster than we can build it back up. And that happens a lot with people in the raw food movement. When I first went online, after being a raw vegan for about a decade or so, and was going to message boards, you heard this quite often. Very thin people who start with get down to practically nothing, and on the same diet they lost all that weight, they gained it back. And the way it's explained is that the, uh, the cannibalism is, exceeds the anabolism phase, where the tissue is breaking down body faster. But I found that not to be true with the solid food vacation on juices because of the wide variety of nutrients we can consume when we separate the fiber. Even animals in nature do this. It's called wadging. And I'm going to talk about that in my next video. Well, it'll be part of the story. It's not going to be about wadging, but it will fit into the story. But in the meantime, we have to understand that if, if, if we're trying to heal ourselves, we gotta build a new container. Once we build a new container, and then once we can handle the new wine, that's when we're in for a treat.